Hi guys, um, it's September the 24th, 2013, it is now, oh, it's 11.52 in the morning, so just before lunch, but I've actually already had lunch, I had udon with salmon and spinach and baked cheese, um, as you can see here, I don't know, you guys might own, you, if you guys, you know, have seen it, you probably know what this is already, but it's a wet and dry vac. Um, I will explain in a minute why I had to get this, but suffice it to say, this thing is going bye-bye. Um, maybe I should talk about this first, actually. Maybe I can save some people from buying these stupid things. Um, I got this at my store. I work at London Drugs. Um, I think this was originally forty nine ninety nine. I could be wrong about the price, but I remember I paid thirty four or thirty seven dollars. I know I didn't pay full price because I have staff discount. I just don't remember what the original price was, but I know I got a couple dollars off. So I like the saying because it came with a hose, a fairly nice, decent hose. Problem with this hose is the openings are not very wide it's about an inch by half inch so it's not very big and uh, because it's curved it curves uh, hay gets stuck in there so if you're trying to clean cages like this it's it's okay it would it's only good because I can hold it or I can put it on a bench and I can just reach in with the hose uh, along with the brush um, this brush does attach to one of these ends um, but anyway the reason I had to get a new one about I'm gonna say two months ago I noticed that there was no that's not a dirt that's a hole right here where my thumb was um, so anyway I noticed there was a hole and um, anyway I I just made a mess uh, I noticed there was a hole and I tried to stitch it up because I didn't want to replace it because also I know that my store doesn't sell it. It was not a, it did not occur to me that I would have to ever replace it because I went with bagless for a reason. I kind of figured that means I don't have to replace anything. Stupid me. Um, yeah, and I work there, right? <laughs> you think I know that. Um, so anyway, I thought, okay, so I'm, I'm going to go with something I'll never have to replace so long as I take good care of it. So I was using one of these things just to clean off the, uh, the filter every day. And I noticed there was a hole, so I sewed it up, and then next thing you know, there was another hole on the other side of the filter, on the other side of the ring, right? So I taped it, and it stayed. The tape stayed. I tried pulling at it. It stayed. And then a couple of days ago, I noticed it was gone. The tape was gone. It wasn't in the fan. It wasn't in the filter, so I must have scraped it off when I cleaned it. So I go, okay, whatever. So I realized that it's about to go. But I kept looking at this thing right here, the fan, the intake, and there didn't seem to be any kind of dust particles in it. So I figure, okay, um, whatever. Maybe it's not that big of a deal. There's a hole in it. So I left it at that, but I knew that time was running out for this th the filter anyway. And, but I figured I could, you know, at least use it for the week and then work on getting it in October. I didn't think it would rip so soon. The hole got so much bigger. Um, but because I'm vacuuming pieces of things like uh, whip splinters and hay, I guess some things poked it and punctured it some more. And then I guess with the force of the air, it just ripped the hole. Uh, but anyway, I was vacuuming yesterday and it was fine for the first couple minutes and then all of a sudden, some things were coming out of here, and it was hitting me in the arm while I was holding the thing, vacuuming. It was actually hitting me, and that's when I realized, oh, okay, I wonder what that's about. I thought I had put it too close to there, and the wind was picking it up, like just throwing it in the air. Um, but even after I left the machine out of the cage, I was it was still coming out. Um, so what had happened was the filter had broken, and it was it was being pulled into here, and it was coming out through these side vents right here. And there was a really weird smell uh, because the, this thing heats up a little bit. It gets a little warm. And I'm thinking some pieces of hay or something might have just started to smell like it was going to start to burn. So it wasn't burning. Um, but I'm not sure what it is. Um, I did locate that I could buy this filter online. It was only $4.99 for two pack. And apparently, according to the manufacturer, they expect you to replace it every three to six months. Uh, but anyway, it's $4.99. I thought that's a good deal. And then it says uh, standard shipping was four ninety nine. That sounds good. Ten dollars, very reasonable for two filters. Uh, but then 
it says possibly up to one to two weeks to deliver. Now, you know that they only work Monday to Friday, so it could possibly be two and a half weeks. My problem is if I could live two and a half weeks, I wouldn't need to buy this to begin with. I could just do this for the rest of my life. Uh, obviously, two and a half weeks is not okay. Um, four days maybe would be pushing it, but I really have better things to do. I tried using my globe vac, but the globe vac has a suction that can barely pick up a piece of hair off a fleece. I'm talking about human hair. Uh, so it's not very strong. Um, and you would actually literally have to run your, your hose over each, like the nozzle over each piece of this stuff to pick it up. So if I had put this thing just right here, it would have sucked this all in already. So it's a much different strength. Um, so I had to find something else and I went online and I Googled and I, you know, I just need something a little more durable and I googled something about bunnies because chinchillas is really not very common I guess to do it uh, but bunnies you know everyone knows what a bunny is um, and they poop like crazy guinea pigs is another one if you're ever googling for these things it's better to google for bunnies and guinea pigs because they poop like crazy chinchillas are just a little less known um, anyway so I googled it and somebody mentioned a shop vac and I'm thinking well, I recently had a, f a coworker who's reached 15 years at our store, employee, and he got a shop back for a gift, a 15-year anniversary gift. And so I'm like, oh, my God, but I don't want something that big. So I go on the online, and I look, and I realize that they come in smaller sizes. So then I got this, and I was thinking originally the one I was looking for that was $69.99 online was actually 45 liters. Now, I know what a 19-liter uh, water jug looks like because we have the machine downstairs. And I thought, okay, 45, that's like double. I'm like, do I really need something that big? So I start freaking out. But for some reason, I went into the store and all the signs on the shelf said 109 and up all the way to like $200. And this was the only one that's 69. And apparently this one is 22 liters. It's not 45 liters though. So they must have forgot to put the sign up or maybe they're both the same price. I don't know. But I thought 22 liter was very reasonable. It's approximately the size of a water cooler, the jugs of water. Uh, that's the blue ones that the water company delivers to uh, offices. So I thought, okay, that sounds like a very good capacity. I mean, I'm only vacuuming this crap. That's, that's the majority of what it's for. It's mainly for this compartment of the cage. Um, the rest of it is obviously like poop, but I will pick out these and I usually dustpan and then sweep up all of this. But mostly what I'm after is, mostly what I'm after is the crumbs anyway. I don't know if you can see it, but I mostly just vacuum the crumbs and the poop. Um, and of course, of course I give them rose hips and the rose hip, there's something inside that's kind of fuzzy, almost like a pipe cleaner fuzzy. And I don't know what it is, but once it gets on the fleece, it smears all across. And you can sweep it with this thing all day long and you will never get them all off. It's a futile exercise. You could take it outside. That was the other thing. I was thinking of not buying a vacuum. I could have taken this outside. But that would mean locking them out of the levels because I don't want them to pee on the pan, right? Because uh, then they step on it and then they track it everywhere, right? The paws get on the rails and next thing you know, you're cleaning the whole cage. So I could have taken it outside and dusted it all off and swept it every single day. But the thing is, the reason the filter broke too was because these things are pretty sharp for a cloth filter. And I was brushing it off every day. So I figured I don't really want a heavy duty kind of brush off all that crap. Um, so I decided to go with a shop vac. Now I've never actually used one. I've seen them because my parents used to clean them. Um, the daycare and I think I've seen one but uh, I don't recall how loud they are now people are telling me these things are very loud um, Nala I anticipate is gonna be not too happy with me um, so anyway I did get it uh, <laughs> this thing was 69 and this thing was an extension hose I'll tell you about that in the next video but basically I had to get this I might be able to return it if I don't need it, but I anticipate I might. And the only reason is because this one's seven feet. This thing is about a feet plus a little bit. This is two feet plus two plus two. So we're already at seven feet. Um, and I need it to be able to reach from the ground while it's on the floor. I need it to be the host to be able to reach all the way to the back of the cage and along these wires. Cause I also clean the wires. I clean like, this I haven't done it because I don't have a nozzle but this one apparently you can buy a nozzle but I like to wipe everything down once in a while I haven't done it recently because of sniffles um, but
but I will be getting back to it. So like this, it's just chin dust. I take a wet, wet cloth and I rub it all the way underneath these wires so that they're all polished. Um, but yeah, I will open this up first and then I will make a video on what's inside. Um, I probably won't make a video of it turned on, but I'll, we'll see. I'm desperate to get this off my floor. Okay, guys?